Hi, I'm Blair Nelson, or Manta, I'm married to my wife Anna. We farm in Aria in the King Country. Um, we're in a unique little um, area, which is so we're quite dry relative to the rest of the King Country, so we're about 1600 mils of rain. So the farm is about 1100 hectares effective. A third of it is uh, flat cultivatable, another third is easy hill that we run bulls on, and the last third is Jenner and Hill Country. So uh, currently we're running 3,800 ewes. Um, we scanned the other day and had our best ever scanning at 194%. We have 300 cows, that includes the first calvers. We keep their progeny through and sell the bulls at, at 80 months old at 280 kilos carcass weight. We keep the heifers through and sell them in the, in the second winter and the rest of the re remaining stock units is made up of Frisian bulls which is about 560 two year old bulls. We buy those depending on the feed budget. When we set out to do the project it was a, um, unclear immediately what we were going to work on but we had our neighbours around us starting to look at more dairy farms and there was definitely a challenge with the profitability um, that we wanted to address. We felt that the farm was performing reasonably well but there was more potential to, to generate some more production and some profit out of it and so that was where we started. We set a goal of $200 per hectare um, increasing our income and, and that was to try and get us competitive with our dairy farming neighbours. The biggest potential for us at the moment is nailing the, the chemistry to control the, the weeds in that system so that we get a pure sward that will last as long as we want. As it happens at the moment, first year planted crops are almost better than the third year crops because of the chemistry that we used off label in those first three years. So there is a real opportunity there for us moving forward to potentially get a, a cleaner sward, have it last longer and therefore drive more profitability. I guess we started off with plantain. Uh, we couldn't get very much clover in the, st in the bottom of it, so it was a plantain and clover sward, but we really lacked the clover part of the sward. Uh, so talking with uh, a consultant, we decided that perhaps if we planted red clover for a start, and then we could put the plantain in, in the second year, that would be a way to get our clover content up in our plantain. And um, Derek Ferguson at the time said, if you do that, Manta, you'll never go back to putting plantain over top of the red clover. The red clover will be too great. I was in jest of him because I'd ha had a lot of consultants on the farm doing a lot of forages. And But as it would happen, he was very correct. We don't put any plantain in there now. We had our issues with low nitrogen levels, plantain moth and, and poor performance of, it, of the animals. So we're currently running a red clover system. When you talk about surprises that came out of the project, I think one of the ones that um, really surprised me was how well the two tooths performed when we fed them really well as hoggets. So big, big part of the project was d growing our hoggets out on the clover really well. And then they outperformed our mixed age ewes is at scanning and at weaning, and their lambs, they weaned, were heavier than the mixed age ewes. So if everyone can do that, there's a really, really good opportunity to be had from getting your, your hoggets to perform early and turning them into mixed age ewes really quickly. So one of the things that's changed over the course of the project is that we're very focused on how much our ewes get fed. The me we measure this through body condition score of the ewes, and this has resulted in a lot more even feeding of our ewes over the course of the year. We're happy that red clover is going, going forward is what we're going to use as that crop for lamb finishing and for growing the hoggets out and it's really just that autumn feed what we do for, for the weaners in the autumn is probably the one issue that we haven't been able to, to sort out which still, still means our system may change a little bit based on that. We um, focus very much on the ewes and the weaning weight of the lambs so 34 kilos was our target and we achieved that not last year, but the year before we did. We were a wee bit off the last year. And we have um, yeah, done that by working on the multiples, the ewes with two or three lambs, and, and also making their tupping weights reliably better, ewes and hoggets. It was a, a very positive experience and a great bunch of farmers around the country to be involved with. We were surprised at um, probably how how hard it was to achieve what we set out to achieve, I guess. There was a lot of planning, we needed a really good team, and it, it just took a lot of fine tuning to, to get what we wanted to. I think Blair did a great job of managing it and learnt a lot, we all learnt a lot along the way. But yes, it did take 
uh, it's the fine tuning that makes a difference to really get that top little bit of potential out of your, your farm and we're still working on getting it right.